This VAWatchdog.org news video is brought to you by Bergman and Moore, LLC. Former VA attorneys now fighting VA for you. Call Bergman and Moore at 877-838-2889 or on the web at vetlawyers.com. The Army is cracking down on sexual abuse in the ranks. A third of service women and 6% of service men say they've been victims. This week, the Army said it will hire more prosecutors to bring perpetrators to justice. Meanwhile, critics say the military needs to do more about another crime, women being assaulted, beaten, even raped by their military husbands or boyfriends. A CBS News investigation finds more than 25,000 spouses and domestic partners have been attacked over the past decade. Nearly 90 spouses have died. The numbers are growing, and tonight in this exclusive report, you'll hear from some of the victims. It can be as deadly as combat. Whoa! There was a guy with a pistol or some kind of gun, and he came in and uh, shot my mother. Domestic violence inside the U.S. military. 19-year-old specialist Brandon Baer accused of killing his own wife. Jasasha Patton is a survivor. I had a bruising on my head, cuts under my eyes, my lips, um, and my whole body was just like a big bruise. When specialist Lenny McIntyre returned to Fort Lewis, Washington, his wife says the war had changed him. After his second tour of duty in Iraq with the Army Rangers, she says he wasn't sleeping and was filled with anger, especially when their infant daughter would cry. Any noise that she made, just it bothered him. He said it reminded him too much of Iraq and the kids that he shot and the screaming and he couldn't take it, being reminded. That anger turned to violence. He pleaded guilty to child abuse after beating three-month-old Bella. Then a few months later, in a drunken rage, threatening her with a gun, he attacked and raped his wife. I think I laid there for about an hour and just cried. I had given up. I didn't even care if he came in and he killed me. And, yeah, I mean, I was broken. McIntyre was jailed, but for only one night, given extra duty and ordered to sleep in the barracks. Patton sought help from the chaplain, the Ranger Battalion, as well as McIntyre's commanding officers, but found no answers. What do you think is the major flaw in the way the U.S. military, at least in your experience, deals with domestic violence. When a soldier beats his wife, the wife falls through the crack. It's, they make it very impossible to get through the system and get anything done. It wasn't until Lenny McIntyre threatened his fellow soldiers and went AWOL that the Army decided to press charges. Three weeks ago, he was sentenced to seven years in a military prison. You are also high risk of becoming victims. We spoke to several military family advocates who say the system is broken, underfunded, and understaffed. This former advocate did not want to be identified for fear of retribution. Well, I think the Pentagon needs to step in and start um, a better training program for their um, commanders. Lynn McCollum is the Army Director of Family Affairs. According to our conversations with a number of victims' advocates, the Army usually rallies around the soldiers and leaves the victim to fend for herself. And then when she finally does get help, the complaint is the system is entirely stacked against her. It's disturbing to hear those kinds of comments. Um, over the last couple of years, we've really put into place um, and increased the number of victim advocates. One of our biggest challenges, because we're a large bureaucracy, is getting information out. It's not only the victims that aren't getting help, it's also the soldiers. CBS News has learned that in case after case, soldiers returning from Iraq or Afghanistan have raised red flags regarding their mental health problems. But they're often ignored with devastating consequences. In this post-deployment health assessment obtained by CBS News, this soldier clearly indicates concerns for potential conflict with his spouse or family members and that he might hurt or lose control with someone. But nothing was done. A year later, he murdered his wife. He put it right here on a questionnaire, and nobody did anything about it. How can that happen if you have all these systems and services in place? 
I need a break, guys. <laughs> After discussing the incident with her colleagues, McCollum returned to answer the question. Obviously, I think in this situation, a mistake probably was made. Then there's the case of Sergeant James Pitts. Tomorrow, in an exclusive interview, he tells us how the military failed to help him or protect his Army wife. This war took my family from me. I've lost everything. And you can go to cbsnews.com to see more of Jasatia Patton's story of survival. VAWatchdog.org, the nation's number one independent veterans website. On the web at VAWatchdog.org.